Hi everyone and welcome to Web is Step Tutorials. This is Ahmad Fakhr and this series is about sending push notification using one signal API. If you not remember in the above of this video you will see the link of the first part of this series. Please see the first one and come again to see the number two of the series. In this tutorial, we will focus to send emojis via one signal to see emojis into your platform like Chrome, Firefox, Safari, or mobile platforms like Android, iOS. But before discussing the details, let's first go to the example. Let's run the example by refreshing the page. Then allow to subscribe to these notifications. Allow. And that's okay. Thank you for subscribing. Then now let's send the message and see how it works. Submit, and as you see, this is the emojis. Sometimes it was colored. Now let's discuss how to send the emoji and how to integrate it with our example. As I said before, the first step is to go to the documentation. One signal has one of the best documentation on the earth. Exactly as I said, it is well documented and has many details with screenshots and very clear steps. In the part one of this documentation, you have a setup which for teaching you how to install or set up one signal in your platform. You have the mobile installation to understand how to install one signal in your mobile platform like iOS or Android and the web push which to understand how to install one signal with web push notification and we will go to this part if you click here you will see in step by step how to do that but before in web push notification there is many many softwares like Shopify, Plugger, WordPress, Drawable, Joomla, Wix we just focus on the typical setup there is a seven steps exactly as you see step by step you can follow it and try to figure out how to install it and try to solve any problem from this page because many of my followers asked me to to fix these issues just follow these steps exactly and you will not face any problem or just follow the first tutorial. Now, after following all these steps, you will go to the part two, which is using one signal website, one signal dashboard. As you see here, when I reload the page, this is a subscribed users this is the user we just subscribe from moments if you go to users active users view users you will see the last active when i subscribe and the device which is chrome this is the first session the country eg which is certainate of egypt language code which is ar arabic messages to try to send notifications from the platform one signal itself to the subscribed users here write your title and the message 
then you could show the messages from here welcome my friends okay this is the messages and the status is delivered the time send at time send to this is the users delivery clicked or not and the settings to complete all these platforms to confirm that all your messages sending through all these platforms here you get the keys and IDs that used in our example again go again to the documentation to see the last part of it which is SDK API reference this is the supported SDKs for all platforms and in our example we just use server rest API reference to integrate one signal with PHP and to do that we use a REST API there is many integration to use it but we will focus for PHP if you search this is the PHP part there is many languages to support with and this is the part of PHP to send notification using one signal there is many many functions to use but here we just focus to use php to send notification now after discussing the documentation let's go to the first step practically now after taking an overview about the one signal documentation let's go to the practical steps the first steps is to search for emoji one signal SDK go to their repository on github and download the zip file extract it into the root of localhost like htdocs in XAMPP and after extracting it you will go to the demo and you will find an index.html we will edit it now after opening this file you will create another file which is send underscore push.php you will find the send message that I said from seconds this function okay you will put it here and replace the app ID and the authorization from settings are you remember settings let's go here settings and keys and IDs you will replace the two one signal app ID rest API key you will replace it here and for sure all these files will be uploaded to web as step repository and you will find the link in the description of this video after this we will pass these two parameters to the function title and message to get the post the post from the index.html we use it into heading this heading for the title of the push notification this title is for the heading of the push notification and the content of the message will pass to the content of the message here the content array and heading array content and heading is an array you will pass the title and the message to those two arrays and use them into fill this array then pass the fill this array to a json encode that used literally in the curl set opt because you can call one signal via rest api then let's go to the index in the index we have a two type of javascript the first one under this comment 
This is the begin emoji picker. Use this code as it like this and this is the end okay and we will use this data emoji true to relate this code with this input we need to tell this javascript picker to put these emojis into the two fields how to do that by using data emojiable true if you put this attribute into the input you can tell the javascript emoji picker to put all these emojis into this field but don't forget to include the jquery before using the library code where is this libraries files into library folder okay this is all the library code but all this is the first type of the javascript what about the type 2 of the javascript it is the user subscriptions code which help you to manage subscriptions for the users when they open the page when open this page are you remember when open this page i saw the ring bell here and the allow pop up here let's clear again clear let's clear to see what happened and as you see this is the pop up came from this code just copy and use it and what about the manifest and one signal is decay if you remember we discussed those files in the first part of the series just download one signal worker one signal sdk updated worker and manifest and include them in the root of the project as we discussed in the first part of this series and after downloading this here you can use them here it is a part of the setup you can also read the full documentation here in the web push notification typical setup you will see the seven steps one of them to upload the one signal sdk which means download the files here and put them into the root of your website but also to remember to use the font awesome because the font awesome used by the emoji and also to use the css because the emoji.css used by the emoji picker library i hope this video to help you to understand how to work with emoji and push notification if you have any question just leave a comment and i will answer you as soon as possible in the next tutorial i will focus on how to work with local storage in chrome how to save your html code and manipulate it without using any server code thank you for watching see you next bye